Okay, this how-to video is going to walk through some of the uh, the piece spice examples that are found in the analog design and simulation using AutoCAD Capture and Piece Spice, um, written by Dennis Fitzpatrick, who uh, used to be a Cadence AE uh, a few years ago. So um, we're just going to run through some of the basic exercises in this in this book. So the first one we're going to start on is on is on page thirteen, it's chapter one, and it's just exercise one. It's just a, it's a basics about how to create a project and draw some basic sam samples. So we'll start off. We'll do. Um, we we'll use the new project button, or we can also do file, new, and project if you haven't got the start page there. Um, so we specify the name, the project type. Now in this instance, obviously it's gonna be a piece by simulation. We need to make sure that we've got analog or mixed AD checked. Um, and then we specify a location. So let's just go to a directory. And then we'll add, Folder. Click OK. And the next says, do I, do I want to base this on effectively a an empty project, a simple project? I can just create a, a blank project. So let's just go and take a, a different example. It's basically taking the, the piece by simulation and taking all the settings from an, an existing project. We'll use the simple as the example, and then we'll get the project window that opens up. So we'll, we'll double click on the resistor, we'll double click on the schematic and look at page one. Now this is kind of the sample page that it gives. This is this is what it's based it on. So we'll take all those items and we'll just get rid of those for now. The next bit we're gonna do is actually start to place some parts. So based on the, the, the resistors or the, the book's samples, what we need to do is draw a circuit. So we've got two ways to do this. We can use the place part menu we can come over here, let's just get rid of all those libraries. Um, we can come over here and, and add a library and pick a library from the Cadence installation directory. This is where all the PSPICE libraries are stored. So it's Cadence, it's the, the latest release, tools, capture, library, and then the PSPICE folder. That's where all the PSPICE library parts are stored. Um, and we can obviously pick the libraries. There's ways to search the library, so we can click on search for part here, add the name of the part that we're specifically looking for, and it will then give us a list of the available libraries. Another way to place parts um, new to 16.6 is there's a place piece by component. So we can actually get the piece by component very, very quickly. So let's just get some resistors. So we'll put one down. We'll right mouse button rotate. We can put the next resistor down and then press the escape key. Uh, and then we also need to place a voltage source. So we want a piece by component source. And what we're going to use is just a default DC source. And then we want to place some power and ground symbols. So we can use the place ground symbol here, or we can use the icon over here. And we want to go from the source library. We'll just put the part down. So once there's, there's my part, I need to obviously wire this up. Now I've got a couple of ways to do this. What I can do is I can, I can click and drag the parts and then move them around. I can use place wire and I can click point one to click to point two or I can use the auto wire function. So two points, I can click and click and that would add the wire in. And then we can obviously just click and drag to, to move this wire around and get it where we need to go. The next section is really um, adding things like net aliases. So maybe what we want to do is, is, is label some of these nets. I mean, th these nets here do have a default name. If we uh, right mouse button on a net, you can see that we've got a default name that's been given already. So maybe what we want to do is give these more of a useful name, something that we might want to look for when we're doing a piece by simulation. So with a, there's a place net alias. So we can again use the place net alias command. We can use the N key as the shortcut, or we can use the icon. And here we need to specify the name, so let's just have something as straightforward as input. And then if we use the right mouse button edit properties, we can then change this to output. And there's our completed circuit. 